Hey, hey, kings, what's poppin'? It's me, Teams of Regret. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and an equally Happy New Year. This holiday season is the most wonderful time of the year after all. The best time to catch up with family and friends and to overall enjoy your time with them. You know who's not doing any of that though? PlayStation fanboys, because they always have something to complain about. Always. Anyways, since Sony blew their load early in 2021, this kind of left their fanboys with nothing to talk about this holiday season. Sony ponies have taken to trash-talking Xbox to soothe their wounded souls. Not hang out with family, not rediscover old hobbies, not enjoying the good things in life. No, they resort to spreading bitterness and hate in this season to be jolly, because of course they will. Well kings, if you wanted pony salt for Christmas, then consider me a very late Santa. Merry Christmas, but also a moment of silence to all those who wished for a PS5, but woke up to an Xbox Series S in the morning. Be grateful and happy. Think about those who got a Series S from Santa today. I'm sorry for the kids that got a hashtag Xbox Series S for hashtag Christmas and forced to pose for pictures. Look at that. It's Christmas time, a time of celebration and making merry. And the only thing these Sony ponies can think of is the thing they hate. How incredibly depressing. How terribly sad. Even in the most joyful of days, all they can think of is peddling console wars nonsense. Do they have no life outside of Twitter? Yes or no? Either answer, it's incredibly pathetic that they actively chose to spend Christmas Day fighting the console wars. I'd ask if they feel ashamed about this downright sad behavior, but I don't think their console war adult brains can process that kind of nuance. And of course, one of them walked it all back when people pointed out how pathetic it is to make Christmas about the console wars. Wow, I just came back to this, and I legitimately regret tweeting it. I did not expect it to upset so many people. Most understood it was meant to be taken seriously, but I've received some very intense replies. It is what it is, but lesson learned here. It's honestly fucking stupid that you didn't consider this from the get-go. You only realize after a multitude of people pointed out to you plain as day that how pathetic it is for some no-life console warrior Twitter bum to turn a universal day of celebration into more fuel for your stupid plastic box fight. Man, these guys are really hopeless. See, I mostly logged out of social media on Christmas and the holidays. You know why? Because I have other shit to do besides fucking around on Twitter and running my YouTube channel. I celebrated Christmas with my family, I played games and caught up with the boys, I built a model kit that my cousin mailed in from the other side of town. You know, not just constantly stewing in Twitter negativity and other such bullshit. God, console fanboys are just… they're just sad. Just sending positive vibes. Followed closely by… Poor children will be getting the Horizon experience on their Series X. I thought you were just sending positive vibes. Shit-talking plastic boxes other than your preferred one strikes me as, you know, not positive. Struggling to keep that same energy, aren't we? Now that Christmas has passed, Xbox has nothing to play until Starfield 2023. It's going to be a long year looking through the trash in Game Pass. February is almost here, and Horizon will destroy Xbox hopes. Kissing emoji. So here's a little behind the scenes peek on how I work on things. I follow both Xbox and PlayStation as a topic on Twitter to look for content to make videos on, and the Xbox tweets that show up on my timeline is just absolutely flooded by attention hungry PlayStation ponies who have nothing better to do than to bash Xbox. I sincerely wish I was kidding. Finding Xbox discussions on the Xbox tag is an occasion, as opposed to the norm. It doesn't get any better in the PlayStation tag either, with the Sony pony still trashing Xbox theirs and committing more corporate cocksucking than the average politician. I wish I had half the free time these clowns had. Lord himself knows what I can do with all that time. And I haven't even gotten to talking about how wrong the tweet is. There's games like Crossfire X, Stalker 2, and Redfall, among others, coming to Xbox. Even if there aren't any games coming out, 
Xbox players also have games like Forza Horizon and Halo Infinite which have hundreds of hours worth of replayability. I can personally vouch for Halo. I've dumped over 100 hours into it since launch with the admittedly limited content available on hand. Once they add more worthwhile content to the game, that's hundreds more hours. Just goes to show that ponies hate Xbox more than they love PlayStation. Microsoft's console is literally living rent-free in their heads. Also, Starfield is coming out in November 2022, which you would have known if your brains weren't all underdeveloped and shrunken due to engaging in console wars bullshit. Sony wins again! Damn, Sony almost tripled Microsoft! They made more money than Nintendo and Xbox combined! Ooh! Cry laughing emoji, cry laughing emoji, cry laughing emoji, cry laughing emoji, hashtag crybots cry! First off, spelling comprehension, please. I know console fanboys aren't the smartest out there, but it's not that hard to spell check. Second off, second off, this is an old, outdated list from April, and even then its validity is under question. How fucking dry is the PlayStation scene right now that ponies have to dig out dubs from over half a year ago just to get a leg up? Come on man, at least put up some extra effort if you want to throw some shade. Also, complete side note here, but I'm willing to bet maybe a third or maybe even a half of that revenue is coming from Sony's mobile games division. You know, mobile games like Japanese gambling gacha games like Fate Grand Order or what have you. Games that are notorious for encouraging people to spend literally hundreds of dollars for the mere chance of unlocking their favorite waifu characters. You know, literal loot boxes. The monetization system that every gamer swears left, right, and center will destroy the games industry as we know it. Of course, the ponies aren't going to bring that up since it kills their Sony is in the lead because of exclusives narrative. And thirdly, Xbox is like a side gig for Microsoft. The money that Xbox makes for Microsoft is chump change compared to the literal money printing machine that is selling Windows, Microsoft Office, and renting out servers for Sony's cloud service. I find it strange that hashtag Xbox have not disclosed the launch performance of hashtag Halo Infinite when it comes to sales and or player count. That leads me to believe that hashtag Forza did better numbers than Halo, which would be extremely surprising. IMO, the game underperformed numbers wise. I personally find it strange that you're so obsessed over a damn game you don't even like. I mean, if you scroll down this loser's Twitter feed, you'll see that it's just him shitting on Xbox constantly. A handful of tweets shilling for PlayStation, maybe, but overall he's just shitting on Xbox. Most ridiculous of all is that you can't tell him to play the Sony games he cocksucks so hard for, since he doesn't even own a PlayStation 5. This man is singing high praises for PS5 games, but he doesn't even have one yet. When I shit talk Days Gone and Horizon Zero Dawn, it's because I've played both of them and found them to be not worth the hype. You know, because I'm not a hack fraud like this clown. You know, this this really makes one think. What wrong turn does someone have to make in life to get all tangled up in peddling online console wars nonsense? If you were kids who didn't know any better, it'd be fine. You don't have much going on in life, so I can look over that, but... These guys are grown-ass adults who base their entire identity around their favorite plastic box. Certainly, there are other things in their life that they can also enjoy, no? Even I have hobbies outside of gaming. Man, the grunt slugging it out in the trenches of World War I still tried to make some form of peace on Christmas. These Sony ponies? <laughs> they aren't even trying. This, this all straddles the line between funny and pathetic. And I'm not sure which side it's leaning more towards. They go out of their way to shit-talk people enjoying the holiday season with their families, then they continue to shit-talk the other side of the dumb console wars instead of enjoying the holiday season with their own families. I want to pity them, but at the same time, they brought this all on themselves. The grunts back in World War I, World War II, God bless their souls, they had no choice in the matter. They were all conscripted and had officers that would punish them severely if they chose not to fight. Who is holding a gun to the heads of these fanboys and forcing them to keep fighting the console wars? I'll give you a hint. If you want an answer to that question, tell one of these fanboys to look in the mirror and tell you what they see. The answer will be quite clear as day.
Anyways, I'm just about done with this video. I'm gonna go back to doing my hobbies and spending the last few days of my holidays doing stuff I actually enjoy before getting back into the grind. I suggest you guys do the same. Now remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you feel like it. This is Sheems of Regret and I'm wishing you all a good luck, Godspeed, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year too. Signing out.